If we know that the distribution we are studying is normal, we could use the empirical rule. But if we don't know anything about the distribution, we can still use Chebyshev's rule. And what it tells you is that the area under the graph for the distribution from k standard deviations up and down from the mean is at least 1 minus 1 over k squared. So, for example, if we have a distribution where the mean is 40, the standard deviation is 5, but we don't know anything else about the distribution, we don't know if it is normal or not, what can we say about the percent of observations between 30 and 50? Now, how many standard deviations is 50 away from the mean, which is 40? The answer to that question is the z-score, which is x minus mu over sigma. x is 50, the mean is 40, and sigma is 5, so we're going to get 10 over 5, which is 2. And that is that number k that Chevy Chef's rule is talking about. k is the number of standard deviations up and down from the mean. So once we find k, then the answer to our original question, what percent of the observations are between 30 and 50, will be at least 1 minus 1 over k, which is 2 squared, gives you 1 minus 1 fourth, which is 3 fourths, or 0.75, which is, let's say, 75%. So at least, we expect at least 75% of the observations between two standard deviations up and down. We should note that Chebyshev's rule is applicable for values of k greater than 1, because, of course, if you get 1, then you would get 0 in here, and if it is less than 1, you would get a negative number, which doesn't make any sense. Let's say that this was part A of the question. A trickier question would be what percent of the observations are above 50? Here. Now, remember that we don't know anything about the shape of the distribution, so the only thing we know is that here we have at least 75% of the observations. But depending on the shape of the distribution, we could have nothing here, or we could have a maximum of 25%, which is what remains. So it could be that uh, the 25% remaining is evenly distributed between these two tails. It could be that the whole 25% is here, therefore that is zero, or the whole 25% is here, and therefore this is zero. So the only thing that we can say about this is that we can have at most, not at least, at most 25%.